Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set to 2.7 and problem number 2.101. A flat stone slab rests on an inclined skid way that makes an angle alpha with the horizontal. What is the condition of equilibrium if the angle of friction is phi? That means there is a stone is just resting on an inclined plane. Our interest is to find the value of alpha so that the total body is under equilibrium. For that, let us consider the free body diagram of the, uh, of the stone slab. The various forces acting on the stone slab are, the first one is the self weight. The next one is, there is a reaction force by the plane onto the stone. The various forces acting on the stone are, the first one is the self weight W, next one is the reaction force by the surface, the reaction force by the plane onto the stone, let N is the reaction force. Now the stone is about to move in the downward direction, hence the frictional force is opposite to that, hence the frictional force acts in the upward direction. Let the magnitude of the frictional force is mu into N. Now, let us transfer all these three forces onto separate xy plane for easy analysis. Now this is w, this is n and this is mu n. Now mu n is parallel to the surface. Hence this angle made by mu n with the horizontal becomes alpha. And n, n is perpendicular to the surface. Hence n makes an angle alpha with the resolve these forces along x axis and y axis. Now, W is vertical, you need not to resolve. Mu n makes an angle alpha with the horizontal. Hence, horizontal component is mu n cos alpha and vertical component is mu n sin alpha. Similarly, n makes an angle alpha with the vertical. Hence, yeah, vertical component is n cos alpha, horizontal component is n sin alpha. Let us apply the equilibrium equations. Sigma fx is equal to 0. There are only two forces. By applying the equilibrium equation, you will get to mu n sin alpha is equal to mu n cos alpha. So n ends gets cancelled and you will get tan alpha is equal to mu. But mu is the coefficient of friction that you can consider as mu is equal to tan phi where phi is the friction angle. So tan alpha is equal to tan alpha is equal to tan phi and alpha is equal to phi. This is the answer. 